Okay, here we go. This is uh, kind of part one of my DeWalt version of my electric bike. Uh, previously, I mean, I have the uh, Bafung uh, electric motor right here, and that works really, uh, really good. Um, I'm, t I'm taking off the headway cells. I'm just not happy with the uh, um, battery management system you get with those, and uh, I, I eventually trashed all of these cells. And uh, here's the case I have I had for it. Um, going with something else, what I want to do is I want to do uh, six Dewalt batteries. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do six of the five amp hour uh, cells. So technically I should be able to get uh, 30, 30 amp hours total. Uh, it'll be, so it'll be 18, 18, 18, uh, and those will be in series for the, uh, I think it's 56 volts total. Uh, and so in, to be able to do that, uh, I'm going to have to, what I want to do on the bike is I want to be able to have uh, click battery here, battery here, and battery here. I want to, want to be able to use the stock. I want to be able to use the stock battery because I like how chunky the battery is. It's 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 uh, ready to go. It's um, bulletproof. Uh, these have a uh, custom top from them uh, on them from the uh, the three amps have a black top to them, and I bought a, a bunch of the three amps. Um, and swap them out because they're the same. As long as you get the ones with the battery gauge, uh, the parts are the same. And so I took the black, I left the black here, the black, and the black gauge, and I put the black top so that I have uh, six all black DeWalts. And I may even take the stickers off, I'm not sure, because they're black under there too. Um, so I'm thinking about that. Um, the way I'm going to have to connect it to the bike is a little confusing, a little expensive. Um, here's here's where I'm where I'm going. I'll pick all these up. The batteries themselves are great because right out of the box, I have access to every single cell within the uh, within the battery. So you have your uh, your negative, your po your positive, and then you have uh, channel one, two, three, four, and then you have a TH and ID. I'm not sure. I think the ID is tells the the charger uh, where you're supposed to be at, and the charger the charger itself itself has uh, a pin for each for each cell. Uh, a lot of the drills, if you look at a drill. They do not. They only have uh, a positive and negative, and I think some inner. That's probably ID, and then I think that one's a 12 volt. Um, but uh, what I want to be able to do is, I found the cheapest thing you can get, which is still expensive. Uh, this is uh, the flashlight, which was still 40 bucks, uh, the cheapest you can find it. Um, but I'm going to try and modify these so I can uh, resell them. Uh, but these have. The connector that I want, um, these have the connector that I want that are full, full width here, and then you have the lock. The other thing I have here is the uh, Dewalt USB charger. Uh, let me give you some numbers. This is the DCB090. The flashlight is uh, does not say. Oh, here we go. The DCL040. Um, and then I guess my battery, if you want to know the battery, this is just the 5 amp. 5 amp DCB205. Um, the USB uh, adapter, which is pretty cool. You snap it in, it goes ding ding ding, and then it tells you what voltage you ha or your state of charge. Which is great, I guess, but at the same time, you still have two bars there. So, I mean, if you already have the gauge there, you, you don't technically need those. But what you do need is the USB, because that's great. You can put that in your toolbox, and you can charge your phone. 
in your toolbox without having to go back to the shop or whatever. Um, but what, what I needed from this is all of the pins. For some reason, this one has all of the pins and most of the tools do not. So there's no pin. There's just the standard four pins. And for what I'm doing, I need to be able to access those pins because uh, the batteries themselves, you can drain them. Because my, my bike does not have any ba management on it, I'm going to need uh, to be able to monitor my batteries so I don't uh, completely kill them. Uh, so I have uh, some different things I'm going to try. Uh, this is not what I'm going with, but here's, here's kind of a basic. Uh, this is an RC uh, voltage detector, and it'll tell you your total volt. So uh, basically what I would do is I would uh, hook this to each of my pins, and then it'll tell me my total voltage, and then it blinks through all of your different cells. And there are five cells within each battery, so 5, 10, 15 cells. They don't sell one of these made for 15 cells. So I'm going to have to do one of them for 5, another one for 5, and another one for 5. And I'll have to, I'll have to come up with uh, how I want to do that later. Um, but for right now, um, basically mounted on the bike is I'm going to have some kind of flat plate and uh, I'm going to have to uh, either drill some holes around the edge and mount it to that flat plate, plate so I can just snap the battery in. Um, but for now, it, it, the hard part is I've taken both of these apart this part does not fit in that part, and that part does not fit in this part. So they're completely different. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to mention, uh, theoretically, this would be absolutely perfect. I could just um, mill this flat and use this as my connector. And I dropped it on the floor. Um, use that as my connector, but if you do, uh, this is, is I don't know how to show it on, on the phone, on the camera, but this is a little a little on the flimsy side, and this is not designed to hold the battery, because this just pops in, pops out. There's no, there's no latch here. This one, you snap it in, and it, lock, and it locks. Uh, and so the only way to get it off is to push the actual battery and, and pop it off. So I need, in the differences here, if you look at them real close, you can see the difference. This one has bars coming all the way up. This one has them going about halfway up. This one has a, a uh, plate here that the, uh, that the latch snaps into. And so I need this over here, and I need these parts over here also. So, so this is not going to work because it's just... Um, my ba the bike's going to be bouncing all over the place, and I need something that's, you know, going to really hold the batteries. So, um, what I'll go through here is how to put the 8-pin uh, version on the 4-pin. And I have one already put together, and I've already sliced the top of it off. Uh, but, uh, basically, here is... Here's the modified version with the connector from the USB. And uh, long story short, if you don't, if you want to skip skip the next part, uh, you just gotta shave some parts off and uh, modify this a little bit. But you have all your pins in the back, and so you should be should be able to get it to uh, fit. Okay.